I was just writing poems. Like, I don't, I don't believe you need a book every two years. I, I just believe you need to write good poems. Just write good poems. And I was writing poems, but I didn't feel like I was writing towards a book. And then I wrote this poem. And this was the poem that was like, oh, now you're into something else. Um, and even though it's not the first poem in the book, it's near the front. It is the poem that for me announces sort of what the book is thinking about and some of its concerns. Children listen. It turns out, however, I was deeply mistaken about the end of the world. The body in flames will not be the body in flames, but just a house fire ignored. The black sails of that solitary burning boat rubbing along the legs of lovers flung into a sky and buffalo by a carousel. The lovers too sick in their love to notice a man drenched in fire on a porch or a child aflame mistaken for a dog, mistaken for a child running to tell of a bomb that did not knock before it entered in Gaza with its glad tidings of abundant joy. In Kazmira's, a god is weeping in a window, one golden hand raised above his head as if he slipped on the slick rag of the future. Our human kindnesses, unremarkable as the flies rubbing their legs together while standing on a slice of cantaloupe. Children, you were never meant to be human. You must be the grass. You must grow wildly over the graves. Thank you.